great, great day for the city of Macon and the whole uh, north central Missouri uh, area. We're uh, very, very uh, uh, glad that you all were able to come out and join us today. I want to thank all the folks that uh, worked so hard to uh, put up the tent to keep the sun off of me. Uh, also to uh, prepare the food and uh, uh, welcome everyone to this event. I know that we're all very, uh, very excited and proud about what uh, going to into this building, and uh, we certainly uh, appreciate the opportunity to uh, welcome you to this facility uh, officially. First, I'd like to ask uh, Tom Shively, Eighth District uh, Representative, to come and say a few words for us, please. Thank you. I think the uh, one word that. Uh, we need to all keep in mind that this is congratulations, and we are extremely proud of all the people that have put all the work together for this to happen. Uh, it's been about three years ago, I think we met the first time, when there was a USDA development grant uh, coming through. And uh, this is kind of a final day, I guess, of uh, all this coming to the top, and we uh, look for more growth. It's going to be a benefit to an awful lot of people, and particularly the students, which uh, the masses of the people is what all these projects are for. And I noticed this thing only squealed really loud when Denise walked by. So uh, I thought it was something whistling at her there as she came through. But uh, anyway, we got to pick on somebody every once in a while. And of course, your state rep, he'd like to claim credit for all this. But the, the credit really goes to all the people that have worked together and want, uh, want this thing to grow and to prosper. And we look forward to helping it all that we can in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, we... Uh, much of what we're doing here could not have happened without the uh, support of the U.S. Uh, Department of Agriculture and their rural development uh, efforts. Uh, I would like to introduce Steve Garrish, uh, the uh, rural development specialist for this area. Steve? Thank you. Well, the day's finally come. Uh, as Tom mentioned, we started this process uh, oh, back in 07 with all the application stuff we go through, and, and I have to commend and thank uh, the mayor and uh, Alan for their patience in the process. Uh, federal paperwork's never fun. It's part of the process uh, to get the money. Finally, a couple years ago, we was able to lock down the funds, and, uh, and we've been at this since then. Um, we've had a few hurdles to overcome. We appreciate uh, all the efforts of the city and uh, the things they've done to collaborate in effort with uh, Mobile Area Community College and Central Methodist uh, to bring this campus to, to life. It's always good to see visions finally become a reality, and, and often they take a long time, and, and that's the, the process we go through. So uh, we're here today to celebrate this. Uh, this awesome facility is going to provide uh, great opportunities for people for years to come. We have a certificate of appreciation we want to present to the city of Macon that says USDA Rural Development recognizes your participation, cooperation, and dedication as a valuable partner in education in Macon and the surrounding area. Your investment in the community will provide a brighter future for generations to come. So with that, congratulations. that I wanted to mention, and that is that the, in addition to uh, the city and the, the colleges, uh, we've had a lot of help from the Macon County Economic Development uh, Group, um, Frank, Frank and Frank Withrow and Denise Bennett have uh, been really uh, involved in making this uh, come true. So first, I just want to thank them also. It's an honor to introduce uh, Central Methodist University President Marianne I. I. Inman. Uh, Dr. Inman has degrees from Purdue, Indiana, and her doctorate from the University of uh, Texas in Austin. We've been making her very appreciative of her service. Uh, Central Methodist University serves approximately 5,000 students in its main, and at their main campus and 13 academic centers around the state of Missouri. We've been making her proud to be the latest addition to this distinguished university. I know that the Central Methodist University leadership is proud of their strong academic program and their emphasis on character, leadership, and service. Uh, thank you, Dr. Emman, for all you've done for us.
Thank you very much, Mayor Bagley. It is a great honor for all of us uh, who represent Central Methodist University uh, to be here today. Uh, it is indeed the culmination of an extraordinary vision and strategic thinking and strategic planning and then a lot of hard work on the part of many, many, many people. I really salute Macon and I speak very often in community settings about uh, the folks that we have found here and the singleness of purpose. When, uh, the, when during the very first meeting, I remember, I believe it was, the, uh, uh, the, the mayor uh, and city administrator who were saying that uh, folks in Macon had studied area communities, other communities in northeastern Missouri. And they observed that Macon had everything that all those communities had except for one thing. And that one thing was higher education. And they were determined that higher education in a significant way would come to Macon and be housed in a permanent facility. And so uh, when we were asked to be partners, we were delighted to be able to share in this kind of excitement. And uh, as we know, um, certainly Mobile Area Community College has become uh, a third partner in this endeavor. And so we are just deeply honored to be one of the education providers for the Macon area. We know that there will be benefits, uh, significant benefits, to, yes, individual citizens, but even more importantly, I think, to the entire community, social fabric, and economic development of Macon, as uh, there now will be a whole range of opportunities for citizens to uh, upgrade their skills or to begin the higher education level and actually to be able to complete degrees right here at home. We thank you so much for your invitation to partner in this endeavor, and we offer our uh, sincerest congratulations and best wishes to this really vibrant, wonderful community. Thank you very much, Dr. Emmon. Uh, I also want to point out that uh, the mayor's name is mentioned several times uh, today, but without the support of the citizens of Macon and, this, and uh, really one of the greatest city councils that anybody had ever worked with, uh, we wouldn't be where we are today. Our city council's uh, uh, a, a great group of people who, as far as I can see, they're only interested in seeing how to make Macon a better place. So I just want to thank the council also. Uh, it's also my honor to introduce uh, Mobile Area Community College President Evelyn Jorgensen. Dr. Jorgensen demonstrated outstanding leadership in expanding the services of Macon Area Community College. Today, they have enrollment of approximately 5,000 students on their main campus in Mobile, Missouri, and seven off-campus facilities. We in Macon appreciate the support of Dr. Jorgensen and the MACC administrative leadership. We're looking forward to extended opportunities that the uh, presence of Macon Area Community College will assure. We are honored to have you and MACC as part of this important step forward in our community. Dr. Jorgensen. Thank you very much. <clears throat> as president of Marble Area Community College, one of the things that I really felt was very important was that we really reach out into the communities of our 16 county service region and uh, Macon is one of the communities that we're very proud to be a part of. We have established off-campus sites otherwhere, other places as well. We're delighted to be here. We've been offering classes at Macon since 1986, and those have been held at the Area Vocational School or Career Center. So it's wonderful now to see that the community has pulled together, developed this brand-new standalone building that's going to have its own presence, and that we can share that with an institution as strong as Central Methodist University. So Marbury Area Community College, Central Methodist University, will be here to serve the citizens of Macon and the surrounding area and to provide them with opportunities right here in this community that they have not had in the past. And we're very pleased to be part of that. We congratulate everyone who has worked so hard to put this together um, from local community members to staffs of each of the institutions. Uh, I've said many times that the presidents are the ones who get to stand up and make the announcements, but it's everyone else behind the scenes that does all the hard work of working out collaborative arrangements, 
and physical facilities and staffing and articulation agreements and everything that goes with it. So we're very pleased to be part of this and I'm pleased to be sharing this moment uh, with all of you and with Marianne Inman as well. Thank you. We, uh, we do have here four articulation agreements and an articulation agreement is simply a specification of courses from Moberly Area Community College that will move and transfer right into degree programs at Central Methodist University. There are four of these because there are four programs that uh, we are offering here. There is a bachelor's degree in um, business, in child development, in nursing, the RN, or registered nurse to Bachelor of Science in Nursing, and in psychology. And as I've been asked, are these the only programs? Not necessarily. We, based on our uh, assessment of the needs of the Macon area, we felt these were good programs, good bachelor's degree programs to start. But uh, as there are further needs, we are very happy to bring those on because certainly we uh, offer at our main campus in Fayette some 27 or 30 bachelor's degree programs. So it is my honor to uh, be able to sign with Dr. Jorgensen and to make this official and then we will cut the ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> Always take two. <laughs> 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 